our best life. Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. I'm wearing Fendi, money spending, all I wanna do is flex. Congratulate FAPTA for having always a very well attended event.
Well, I think tonight, since we are talking about members of the media industry, I'd like to share a few thoughts about what I think is the role of media in the information age. I think that at no time in history has the media profession been under peril than now. And I think the danger is coming from the explosion of so many non-traditional sources of information, most notably social media, the internet. Most everybody with access to the internet, kahit sino ngayon, can now become an instant journalist or reporter. And I call these people civilian journalists who can speak and write about anything under the sun. Uh, this is a welcome development. I don't see anything wrong with that. But what I find wrong is that some of these civilian journalists are not bound by any definite rules on journalism. They're just bound by their own personal biases and prejudices. Unlike traditional media practitioners who follow certain guidelines of journalistic standards and ethics. Now this to me is quite alarming because especially for a society like ours where many of our citizens rely on news and act upon them to make important decisions on some of these political, economic, and cultural issues. And if people rely on news that is not so accurate, that is not true, that is lacking in research, that is quite dangerous to any society. Because by, if that happens, then people will be forming their opinion and making decisions they may not, may not be in the best interest of the community or of the country in general. So I think this is where the members of the media industry can still play a very important and relevant role. You can exert influence over these people who are guided only by their own personal biases and prejudices. You can help them to really follow certain standards and you can ask them to really be truthful when it comes to reporting. So I think this is the context that I would like to situate our event tonight. This being your 11th anniversary, I would like to challenge the members of FAPCA led by its very smart and dedicated and business savvy president, Ms. Lisa Pachay Pachao. Good for the mind. We would like to challenge FAPCA to rise to this occasion, to be vanguards of the truth in news reporting. Without mental reservation, 
very good organization. So help me God. Here's a recognition for all of the officers, and this is my opportunity to greet you on the microphone. So I just want to say that, um, you know, the media is an essential part of democracy, as you know. And those of you who are friends of the media that are here tonight, uh, I want you to recognize that journalists have a difficult uh, profession. It's challenging, but it's very, very important. I am honored to have the opportunity to serve as your president. Together, we can continue to make our press club dynamic, inclusive, and respected organization dedicated to pursue of truth, accuracy, and fairness. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Oh, it's Oli? Oli? Uh-huh. Cantos, yes? Uh-huh. So, Oli, I've heard so many wonderful things about you. Tell me about some of your past. You, you, you've got a role of honors. You've been in the White House? <laughs> yes, I have, Rosalind. And first of all, thank you for the opportunity to be with you today. Uh, I, I actually am former White House staff, and I'm president, I've been presidentially appointed in two different administrations. And currently, I serve as the latest newest elected member of the West Covina City Council. I'm the first person with a disability to be elected in our 100 year history. And I'm really grateful for that. And so it's an incredible, incredible opportunity. And I just love this job. I love the series of jobs that I have. I'm also chairman of the board of Respect Ability, which is a national nonprofit organization that advocates on behalf of 61 million persons with disabilities across this country. So I'm just having a blast. And and Rosalind, my gosh, with, with all that you do to share information about people in the world, and I just really admire you for all that you've done. Well, I really have a heart for great things. Many years ago, I traveled in a, year, a group called Up With People that was all about supporting people with different backgrounds and different needs, and I'm so excited to be working with Chow Entertainment that promotes cultural diversity, that I can work with people from all over the world and all different cultures and backgrounds, and you know, it's so it's so amazing. So what is your hope by working with the West, West Covina City Council? What is your hope and vision of what you want to accomplish in this term that you're at? Well, my hope at its broadest level is to bring people together from across the city uh, in order to, to remove the, the bridges that divide us. Uh, because in this day and age where there's so much polarization, people um, are divided based on political affiliation or that sort of thing. And that's one thing. But the other thing is to really strengthen our infrastructure, to have strong law enforcement and and to be big on public safety, as well as to make sure that our roads are clean and safe, that, that we support kids in school, as well as senior citizens, and that we have uh, a multitude of, of programs and services that impact positively every member of our community throughout West Covina with our magnificent diversity that we enjoy. Tell me, how can people follow you? Oh, uh, they can follow, follow me on Twitter at um, Oli, O-L-L-I-E, underscore Cantos, C-A-N like Nancy, T like Tom, O-S. And I'm also on YouTube under Oli Cantos. And, and on Facebook, it's the same. And so it's across different platforms, as well as Instagram. And, and uh, so I would love to, to hear from folks if there's anything I can do to be of service and support to whoever sees this. I'm, I'm more than grateful to have that opportunity. And Ollie, it's been a pleasure and honor. Gratitude beyond words, and I hope that you have a blessed day today. Thank you. Exciting exuberant event, and this is the poster you're going to be looking for. Rosin's 60th birthday at Spruce's Restaurant and Bar in Malibu. We changed. We're no longer at the at the what was the name of that place? Pacific Cove. At the Pacific Cove, we had some problems, but it's going to be an amazing event. 
I just confirmed today that we're going to have the famed violinist who showed up at the cultural event with Chow Entertainment. He is going to be there with his violin performing. We're going to have Maria Tiakis is going to be providing the beautiful cupcakes and the flowers. I'm so excited for this beautiful poster here. This is Minuteman Press in Torrance, California, who's made this a possibility. We also want to thank uh, Anna Marie Buenacor. We want to thank um, Fred from BNI, Fred Orsinger, and and Mr. J. Samarte for all we've done. And thank you so much to Catherine Orho for the beautiful work on this lovely design, Gratitude Beyond Words. And it, you can look for this beautiful design. It's uh, a um, a wrap given to me by Lisa Pacheco Chow of Chow Entertainment. She couldn't be there, but she wanted to make sure I was dressed in style. So make sure you look at that wonderful styles. The face here is by Amy Tamayo. She has the Bella Therapy. We're going to have some incredible raffles and gifts. And this is a day you don't want to miss. Come out and celebrate with Rosalind Khan. And make sure you get a photograph and a signature and sign up for some of those great raffle prizes that are going to be going on that day. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's 16 hours. We're counting it down. Look for the sign in the friendly page. We'll see you tomorrow. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. Entertainment Radio celebrate together with host Miss Fashion Queen, beautiful model, and actor, professor, teacher, so many jobs. Rosaline Khan. Rosaline, how are you? I'm in good health. It's so exciting to be here to celebrate my 60th birthday with the most walks of life, and I appreciate Yamina for coming out and taking some videos and some footage. We started way back long ago on Father's Days and other events, and it's just wonderful seeing so many friends, families, and so forth here to celebrate this special day. I think this place is a lovely ocean. A lot of my vacations are getting places where oceans are, and so as we sit on top of the Spruces restaurant that's behind us, we can see the beautiful ocean behind us, and that's one of the prerequisites. And 
plenty of free parking. Oh my God. Look at that beautiful beach. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes. And the staff is wonderful, but they're all waiting for me. So I'm going to have to tune in and welcome them all here. And we look forward to seeing you later on. Thank you so much. Yeah, I see so beautiful Italian restaurant here. Yes. The name of the restaurant? It's called Spruce's Restaurant. Uh -huh. We're on Pacific Coast Highway. And in, Malibu. in Malibu, and the cross street is bush with plenty of parking. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, thank you so much. Oh. Roslyn is the second youngest daughter. Roslyn and my father shared a birthday, and they shared a lot of things in common. They went out of their way to help people. My father did things, not necessarily because he was getting paid to do things, but because they were out of his heart. He volunteered at the Jewish Community Center. He just went out of his way because he wanted to help people. Look at all the things that Roslyn does. I don't know how close you people are to Roslyn, but Roslyn goes out because she likes people and she likes seeing people happy. She thinks about who they are and what's going on. I wasn't always the kindest and most caring person, but Rosalind was always there. Mitchell, how you doing? Mitchell, what's going on? I had a paper route when I was a kid, and Rosalind would get up in the morning and help out with the paper route. And Rosalind did up with people. Rosalind did swimming. Rosalind did a lot of things, and Rosalind would always say, Mitchell, what can I help you with? Roslyn helped me with her homework, even though she had her own homework. My sister April used to say, I'm April. Roslyn is Roslyn, and I know today my father would be so proud of his daughter Roslyn. It's her birthday, and I'm proud to be here. I know all my other sisters are proud of Roslyn. I love you, Roslyn. Thank you so much. This is one of the waiters here. His name's Anthony, and he's been here five years. Anthony, tell us what has kept you here for five long, tedious years. Uh, for one, the view is amazing, and the people that work here are really great. The management is super nice. The food is great, um, and they actually let me take off time to pursue my big wave surfing dreams. And you get to go off to Hawaii to do that? Yeah, so I basically just work here, I save up, and then I live in Hawaii three months out of the year and try to surf the biggest waves in the world. That is a blessing now. You tell me that they, they've had events here up to 200 people, right? Yeah, they have. We actually had a wedding here last year. That was incredible. And if someone wanted to book an event, what's the best time of day to do it? Uh, we could potentially book an event any time of the day. If, we just, if you guys email us, we will figure it out. Oh, fantastic. That is wonderful. Well, I really appreciate the kindness and hospitality you've sent to us, and it's really wonderful to be here. And I know being in your hands, Anthony, we're going to be on top of the world.